The cheeky Kia, known to many of us for its high altitude antics, is in trouble. Once common around the South Island high country and mountains, it's now thought to number only around a few thousand birds. Let's join some rangers who are monitoring this alpine parrot in an effort to save it. We're here in Ocarito to look at the lowland Kia, as opposed to those you find in the tussock and above the glacier. Most of the adults that we've ever caught and radio tracked spend their entire life in a very succinct area in the forest. They move from one tree to the other side of the valley and back again all day and that's it. But maybe as a juvenile they go through a bit of a wander stage, might move up to the glacier or might pass the townships and then they'll return to the forest and probably start settling down and making families and once that starts they don't leave that forest. They're a ground nesting parrot and globally that's quite significant. There's only kakapo and kia and then there's the night parrot and the ground parrot in, in Australia. So that brings them to the greatest exposure of threats possible. Generally this gun here is used um, in the old days as a bounty hunter gun for killing kia. And so what we've done is um, managed to take this old antiquated evil device and turn it for something good and it catches the care in the air and then settles down on the ground with the care inside. Is it the only way that you catch care? We set up a decoy bird, a stuffed bird, and some playback underneath the bird. And place them back. And, and does it do the trick? Um, most of the time, yes. When it comes to actually catching them, we can set up a, a small string noose on the ground near there. Um, a noose mat which has a series of nylon nooses and there's also a net gun which enables us, if the key is flying low enough, to shoot it down. <laughs> oh my God. That was awesome! Franny, what's the Kia research project all about? Well, it was triggered, I think, May 2008. Um, transmitters were put on several Kia th throughout three 1080 drops on the west coast of the South Island and um, the Franz Fox operation ended up killing seven birds. Um, six of those were positively ID'd to have died of 1080 poisoning. Kia habitat is currently estimated at 3 million hectares and within those 1 million hectares are currently under 1080 regimes which is a third of their habitat so it's imperative that we really try to work out what's going on there and doing this research is trying to see whether that one was a freak occurrence, whether it's likely to happen again, and if it is going to happen again, the kind of things we can do to stop it happening in the future. So the same study is happening at Mount Arthur, where they're also looking at nesting success and survival during a 1080 operation. And on top of that, there's another study at Reefton which is just looking at Kia survival during a 1080 drop. So all those three studies combined, two of which are going to last for three years, will give us a much better idea of nesting success, both within and outside predator-controlled areas. Conservation can be a complicated business. Sometimes the solution to one problem can affect the very thing we're trying to protect. The Kia Research Programme is so important because knowing as much as we can about these clever and endearing alpine parrots can help us plan the best way to look after them.